Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the magnitude and direction of a vector. Okay, and it's it's important to be able to do this because if we look at this vector right here, two one three, we we can't really tell much about it. I can't I can't just look at it and say ah you know here it's going in this direction. Okay, um, but if we rewrite it in this form, okay, I can say hey here's a magnitude, and it's multiplied by this direction. Okay, so what what we end up with is a scalar and this part right here this is a vector okay so now if we can express it like this then we have basically we're down to scalar multiplication okay and um, I think another key part of uh, understanding this is is that this vector component portion of it, it it's worth one okay so it has no it has no bearing whatsoever on the value of this scalar. Okay, the only thing that that this this part of this product does is it changes the direction. Okay, so let's just go ahead and figure this out right quick. Let's find the magnitude of it. Okay, so I'm going to take the square root of the sum of the squares of the component. Okay, so that's two squared plus one squared plus three squared. Okay, that should give me square root of 14. Okay, so another way to write this, and and you know a, a, a better way to write it, you know, for visualization purposes would be square root of 14, and then I multiply it by. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each one of the components by the magnitude, okay? Okay, so so there we are. It's a little bit sloppy, but um, I think it'll work for now. So what do we got here? So so if, if we go ahead and, and, and if we perform scalar multiplication on this vector, we'd end up with 2, 1, 3. We'd end up with the same, the same um, vector as we started with. But the important thing to notice is that now we have a direction all by itself, okay? Okay, so now we have now that we have a direction all by itself, I can tell you that hey, here the magnitude of this vector is 14. Okay, and it's traveling in the direction of this vector. Okay, so what 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 we want to do now is we, we can we can pick this vector apart. Say I wanted to go 30 miles an hour. Okay, but I wanted to go 30 miles an hour in the direction of this vector v. Okay, then all I have to do is multiply. 30 by this vector. Okay, now now I can get a new vector. And that'll just be what 60 Okay, now this new vector is the result of traveling 30 miles an hour in the direction of this vector. Okay, so so you see how we can we can sort of play around with this, and we can use it to do all sorts of things. Um, and another thing, say I took this, say I took this direction vector, um, and I multiply it. I could multiply it by another vector if I want. Okay, and we you know we could do uh, the dot product um, the, on, on that, and all dot product will give us a scalar. Um, but if I if I take the cross product of another vector, all it's going to do is change. The direction really okay because this thing's only worth one it's so it's going to have no bearing whatsoever on whatever i do to it okay all it's going to do is change the direction so that's why it's good so so just like on this vector right here 30 miles an hour in this direction um if i go and take the magnitude i'm going to be left with i'm going to be left with 30 again okay so because the magnitude of this one right here is one so it's, so it's still just going to be 30 but I've just changed the direction so it's so it's a really handy thing to do 
and it's um, you'll use it quite a bit and you'll probably get pretty familiar with it okay so if uh, you have nothing for me I'm gonna conclude this video